Greece was invited by the Peace Council to occupy Smyrna. After overcoming the objections of the Italians and the Americans the invasion order was given. The concentration of the troops took place on the coastal road. Thousands of Greeks of Smyrna welcomed the Greek army. On the same day, the Turks began to organize with demonstrations and distribution of weapons. The 1st Division under Commander Zafiria landed on the waterfront on February 5, 1919. A large number of Greeks were gathered on the waterfront. The Greek troops began to occupy the points of interest. The Greek soldiers moved along the waterfront towards the southern part of the city. After 20 days, the Greek forces had taken control of the city. Venizelos appointed a commissioner in Smyrna his close friend Aristides Sturgiadis. June 1919. The Greek army tries to consolidate its positions around Smyrna. According to the orders of the Allies, its sole purpose was to maintain order. Turkish ex-gendarmes and military officers were organizing night raids on the Greek forces. The Greek forces were also attacked by the seats whose bases were inside the Italian control zone. On the battlefields there were heavy casualties.
At the end of 1919 the Greek army had reached a depth of 120 kilometers. The advance of the Greek forces in Asia Minor has resulted in the creation of a protective wall between the Turkish and British forces. The military successes succeeded each other. The Greek army occupied Philadelphia, Panormo, and Prusa. In each battle the Turkish troops suffered heavy losses. After the capture of Prusa, the French and Italians demand an end to the operations. The control of the railway line Eskishihir, Ufin Karahisar was a major success for the Greek army. In the war council of Kutahaya it was decided an attack up to Ankara. On August 1, 1921 the Greek army leaves its lines and advances to the east. The Greek Air Force performs the required reconnaissance flights. The advance poses risks to communications and supply. In a climate of calm optimism men, animals, and machines crossed the salt desert. But the march was exhausting fevers and diseases break soldiers out. The attack began on the morning of August 10. Kemal attacks the most vulnerable points of the Greek forces the supply lines and communications. The Greek forces were 60 kilometers from Ankara. The Greek forces, with heavy losses, succeeded to break through two of Kemal's three defensive lines. The leadership decides to retreat to its base behind Sangarios River. For the Greeks, anything other than victory is defeat, and victory was not achieved.
the Turks celebrate because Ankara has been saved and for them anything but total defeat was a victory. In 1922 the front was in danger of collapse. There were huge shortages of arms and food. In response to Papala's appeals, the government promised reinforcements and sent his replacement, Hatsi Anesti. Hatsi Anesti was out of service for about 10 years. The soldiers completely lose confidence in the leadership. August 1922 There was a large concentration of Turkish forces, east of Afankarahisar. On August 12, 1922, the Turkish forces bombarded the Greek positions. At 06.00 in the morning large Turkish forces begun the attack. Kemal is in the front line and for him everything goes well. The Greek commander-in-chief Hatsi Anestis, 300 kilometers away from the front, although he knows the real facts, he telegraphed to Athens. The battle is progressing smoothly. On August 14th, the Turkish attacks are repulsed with difficulty, while there are heavy casualties. By the time, the Greek divisions were in disorderly retreat. Hour by hour, morale was falling lower and lower. The Turkish forces were constantly reinforced with reserve forces. The unexpected success of the Turkish forces surprised even Kemal himself. In the following days the Greek forces are split into two groups. One group, led by Tricaupes, with little food and ammunition was crushed, decimated, and finally capitulates. The other group, led by Frangos, retreated with some order towards to the coast. Polymenakos assumed the duties of the commander-in-chief. Panic has begun to spread through the Greek population. Thousands of refugees follow the army having the hope that they will be safe in Smyrna. But the defense of Smyrna has proved impossible. <laughs> 